Scribble stones. This story is about one happy stone who was gray and round and rarely alone. He lived with the others all stacked in a pile and waited calmly with a large friendly smile. Each stone had a purpose, but it wasn't known yet. Some would be landscaping and some a stone pet. There were so many things that the stones could be. The hardest part was just waiting to see. Stone knew that his purpose would brighten someone's day. He just wasn't sure how or in what kind of way. He imagined the things that he might soon become as he watched all the stones get picked one by one. But his happy face slowly turned to frown as he watched the tall pile start to dwindle on down. And although he was worried, he tried not to care until it was clear he was the last one there. Then it finally happened. Stone was quickly picked up. He was placed on a desk next to a very large cup. As Stone looked around, he thought, this is so great. But he soon discovered he was a dull paperweight. I'm supposed to bring happiness, not hold paper still. There must be a mistake. This just can't be my skill. Then all of a sudden, a splatter flew high, and then some bright scribbles came wiggling by. They were headed right towards the short paper stack, and they filled up the paper on the front and the back. He couldn't believe just how much the pile grew. Then he heard a small cry from the fun splatter crew. We know that this pile was getting too tall. There is no more paper. We have used it all. The scribbles all cried. They now saw it too. This is a disaster. Oh, what will we do? Stone didn't want the scribbles to cry, so he thought of something that they all could try. He slowly rolled down the very large pile and said, I know how to make you all smile. I know I'm not paper, but I like art too. Do you think you could spare some red, yellow, and blue? They loved the idea and could not wait to start. Scribble began making a happiness heart. Splatter then painted some pale blue, baby blue. Another scribble added a sunny gold hue. It didn't take long before more stones showed up, and soon the line grew behind the large red cup. To Stone's surprise, he was picked up once more. He had never heard of this happening before. More art was added, and he was on his way to become a small gift to brighten someone's day. Nearby, another stone journey had begun. He was spreading such happiness and having great fun. Every time he traveled, someone added their part, sometimes just a scribble, sometimes fancy art. With every new layer, there was a story to share, and soon scribble stones were seen everywhere. They traveled the planet. It was quite an event, bringing happiness and fun wherever they went. Now, thousands of stones inspire creativity each day. All because of a paperweight with a will and a way. Bye-bye. Bye guys. Bye. Bye. Bye guys.